It's time for love readings. You're going to get the most out of this love reading if you watch it for your moon sign. This video right here, if you haven't seen it, will tell you why. There's a link in the description box below so you can go right to that to find out why. Um, but regardless of whether you're watching this for your moon sign, which you should be, um, or, or not, whatever, um, I just wanna tell you what we are covering today. What do you need to let go of? Um, what what are you attracting this month in regards to love? What's out of your control? And then what act, what do you need to take action on? We're going to look at singles, couples, and then it's complicated situations. So that could be polyamorous. Maybe um, you're talking to each other, but it's not Facebook official yet. On again, off again, whatever that is. I'm going to do singles first, then couples, and then it's complicated last. The reason being because sometimes when it's complicated, pieces of the single reading and the couple's reading will resonate hard for you and you might wanna go and watch those pieces as well, okay? Um, I think I already said, but this reading is from now until June 15th. Um, and the reason why I go half month to half month is because I put out the general readings at the beginning of every month and then money readings um, also right after that. So let's get started. Oh, I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck today. If you're wondering what that's about, there's a link in the description box below if you wanna purchase one. I don't sell them, but um, if you get it through the affiliate link, I might get like two or three cents from that and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So you're just helping a sister out to keep making these videos. Aquarius singles, what do you need to let go of this month? Um, judging your partner. <laughs> Okay, so they're saying, you know, some of you, it might be time for a change. It might be time to take the lessons that you've learned in your relationships from before, okay, and then move on to something new and different and be okay with that. So I know like you're single, right? So you've already ended things, but like how do you come to terms with that? And they're like honestly through your sleep because our angels will try to help us heal as we're sleeping, like dump a lot of subconscious shit as we're um, resting, okay? So um, that's something to think about. Make sure that you're getting a lot of good quality sleep as well as enough sleep this month so that you're in a better position to attract what you want. So speaking of attracting things, what are you attracting right now? And they're saying, you know, if you don't have a lot of stuff, subconsciously stuffed from previous relationships and experiences, they're like, seeds that aren't planted don't grow. So they're like, think about what it is that you want next. Um, actually, in the description box below, there's a link to my free download page, which will um, give you this worksheet, right? That'll help you attract what it is that you want. That's gonna be important for some of you. You don't have to put in like an email address or some bullshit to get it, you just download it, okay? I'm not gonna steal your email, just go get it. It will help you. Um, so for those of you who do have that subconscious shit that we're letting go of, what are you attracting? And they're like, well, you know, judging yourself, judging situations, like I said, you know, we started with singles and I was like, hey, you know, where are you judging? Or um, you need to let go of judging your past partners or, you know, potential new partners. And so they're like, let's just be happy and celebrating that we're not with the wrong person. Let's that will help us to attract what we want. You know, like someone who's fun and exciting that we get along with um, trying to be in that energy is a better energy to be in in order to get the right person into your life. So, you know, what's outside of your control? And they're just saying, you know, um, partners that were not for the highest good. Like sometimes we are karmically sort of, we have, um, I guess I like to say, call them soul contracts. Certain people in our history that we are supposed to meet to teach us lessons so that we can be the best possible partner um, for the future relationships that we're destined to be in, that soulmate kind of situation. And so it's like, you have to go through those. You have, sometimes you have to kiss a certain amount of frogs before you find your prince or your princess. And so they're just saying, you know, certain relationships you were supposed to be in them, then you were supposed to end them, and then you're supposed to peacefully move on from them. And that's the hard part, that's the sticking point, is um, maybe those relationships have ended, but we're not done being angry at them, we're not done resenting them, we're not done judging ourselves for not leaving sooner or whatever. And that's what you need to move on from in order to be in the right space to get into that relationship that lasts an eternity. And so, you know, what should you be taking action on? And they're like, moving the fuck on and doing it calmly and you know being excited about it they're like you really don't have any choice 
if you want to be in a relationship in the future that lasts forever. Okay, so for those of you who um, are in relationships right now that are coupled, what do you need to let go of? And they're like, okay, so you're all about self-care and Aquariuses do, by nature, require a lot of time on their own for themselves in order to be good in relationships. But you might be taking it a little bit too far and maybe we need to turn some of our attention back to our relationship. So what are you attracting into your relationship right now? And they're like, for some of you, it might be unhealthy attachment and that could be coming from maybe, um, from your partner's point of view, you might be neglecting them a little bit, okay? And so then it's creating some toxicity within the relationship. So what's outside of your control? And they say, you know, the details of this um, are what's important. You know, the devil's in the details. And so, you know, it might not be within your control the way that your partner feels 100% of the time, but it is within our control to like kind of try to read between the lines of what they're saying or what they're emoting so that we can try to meet those needs while still taking the time for ourselves. So, you know, what should you be taking action on in your relationship? And they're like, um, well, you have to get really good quality sleep. And this was the same thing for Aquarius singles as well as getting enough sleep. They're like, but a lot of you already know that because if you have enough rest, you come to all relationships kind of like a better, less grouchy, shitty person. Not that you're a shitty person, but they're like, you attract a lot less of what you want into the relationship if you just get more sleep, you know? And so maybe that is how you be, how you should be taking advantage of your own self-care. Um, that's where you have your own time in space is in your dreams you know while you're lucid dreaming or as you're sleeping and then in your wake hours maybe try to pay more attention to your relationship they say you know you should feel confident about that that it will very much um, form like deeper emotional bonds that are healthier as opposed to ones that could create resentment um, down the road. So for those of you in complicated situations, what do you need to let go of? And they're like this desire that you need to talk about everything. Um, some things are things that you shouldn't be bringing up and approaching right now. What's the reason why? And they're like, just because you feel confident about something doesn't mean that, you know, other parties involved won't be um, experiencing fear surrounding whatever these topics are, these new ideas. So, you know, an example might be, you might say, hey, let's introduce um, somebody else into our relationship, just in our sex life, but not like emotionally. And your partner might be like, um, I'm a little afraid of that. And so maybe now, maybe, you know, between now and halfway through June, it's just not the time. It doesn't mean you can't ever bring up your idea or your wish or whatever this is, this new thing that you wanna bring up. Um, it just means that maybe now is not the time. Um, or, you know, whether it's like taking this casual or maybe committing to this relationship more, whatever your situation is, whatever it is in your head that you want to talk about, maybe now is just not the time. Um, so what are you attracting right now? And they're saying, um, actually, what you're attracting has a lot more to do with career or with money in your day to day life than relationships. Um, so what's outside of your control? Oh, man. They just threw some stuff on the floor and they're saying what's outside of your control are specific challenges, okay? So the big challenge is the day-to-day -day life and routine and um, not talking about things from the past. They're saying what's outside of your control is this um, concept of like life isn't fair, right? And it's not ever going to be fair no matter how much you want it to be. And then also um, another challenge is more again like what is predictable what can i expect from this situation unfortunately it's just maybe a little bit outside of your control and as much as you want to try to create control and know what to expect here you might not be able to this month so what is it that you should be taking action on and they're just saying um you know you're not really expressing a lot of your emotional stuff. So you're coming kind of across as like maybe not invested or emotionally devoid. And that's gonna take a long time to sort of change the way that other people involved might perceive the situation. And so what they're saying is um, kind of like they said for coupled, 
it's like reading between the lines and kind of assessing, you know, what they might be saying one thing, but what do they actually mean? Paying really close detailed attention to what other people are telling us either by body language, you know, in what they say, what they're hinting at, like what do they actually mean? And then responding um, appropriately to those sorts of things. Cause you're kind of like out there in your own little world um, at least that's the way that other people perceive you. And you do need that time. Um, but also for relationships to grow, you have to kind of come down to their level and meet them sometimes. And um, I mean, obviously, sometimes people are too needy, but we have to meet their needs at least a little bit. Right. And so that's what's going on there. Um, I'll talk to you next month. Love you. Love you.